Hello my viewers and welcome to another exciting lesson in Revit structure. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can reinforce a cantilever retaining wall in Revit. So from here, you see that the retaining wall has been reinforced and we are going to look at how you can reinforce this retaining wall all within Revit. Now, if you want to learn on how to model, you know, this retaining wall, which is unreinforced, make sure that you check the card above right here. This is the video where I taught you on how you can, you know, model this one, which is a cantilever retaining wall, okay, a, a gravity wall, a gravity retaining wall, and also a counterfort retaining wall, as you can see from here. But in this lesson, we'll focus on how you can reinforce this retaining wall, as you can see from here. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and for anyone who would like to learn Revit structure, Revit architecture, and robot structure analysis in a course, make sure that you check the links in the description. There are some good courses which you might be interested in if you check them out. So let me not waste time, let's get started in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete everything here. I'll delete this one. If you want to check out this one, make sure that you check the video on the card as I indicated or just go on my channel and check it out. So I'll simply delete everything here so that I just remain with this one. This one, as I mentioned, I created this one. Check the video on the card above, of course, once you finish watching this one. So this is the one that we are going to reinforce. I'll just go back to the base there and delete the other, you know, uh, sections from here, just like that. Or you can even delete from the keyboard or from that to there on top and click on OK. So we have it right here. So this is the section. I have it. If I just double click on the section, you see that we have the section right here. I'll change the, I'll, I'll maintain the view the way it's looking and I'll start by creating, you know, the reinforcement on the base. To do that, just select on that base, then click on Reba, then just click on OK. Once you do that, go to the shape codes here. You can turn on and off the shape codes by just clicking that button there on top. So what I'll do is to simply pick my Reba here. Again, depending on the template that you are using, you can pick, you know, the shape codes from here and also the actual riba from here. I'm just going to pick 16M and pick M17 as my riba. Then once I hover my cursor there, I can just click space bar there. Okay, just like that. Then if it's not changing, go to placement plane and go to parallel. Okay, as you can see, I have my bar right there. If I want to change it to fine level of detail so that I see my bar like that. Place my face bar right click and cancel select the bar there then go down to its properties and i just want the a to be maybe 150 and also go to d and change it to 150 okay enter from my keyboard as you can see i have the first bar there i'll select on that bar and change it to maximum spacing and i want this one to be 200 as my spacing move my cursor inside Click once and I'll simply close the base there. If I check within the 3D view, see that I'm not seeing anything there. Actually, the river is there. So if I just select on that, you see that I have the bars in one direction there. So I'll go back there and make sure that I have bars even in the other direction and also on top there. So first of all, I'll select that bar and then go to, to mirror. Just click there and I want to draw the mirror axis from that point to that point to see that it will be mirrored there on top. Then if I go back there, just pick on that base, you see that I have the river on top at the bottom in one direction only. So I'll go back there, select on that one there, then select on that river tool there and I just want to pick the first one which is M00, then select on it. And I want the placement to be perpendicular to this one over my cursor there. As you can see, we have the dot there. So that's what I want. I'll just place my first bar somewhere there. Then modify, select that bar. And I just want to change this one to maximum spacing. And I want the spacing to be 200, as you can see from here. Okay, so if I select on that bar, I'm able to drag it inside like that. 
I can also drag the other end up to somewhere there, click outside. So I'll also mirror this one by selecting on it, then click on mirror there, then pick this point, I'm drawing the axis, then that point, you see that I've mirrored the bar right there. So we have the bars both at the bottom and on top. If I go to my 3D view there, then select that one, you see that I have the bars both on top and also at the bottom as you can see here we are going to make it transparent later on but i'll just leave it the way it is for now go back there let's now finish up the bars now as i mentioned by this time as you are doing this will have designed your cantilever wall so i'm just placing you know these bars you know roughly at random so if you already have the actual dimensions especially on the lapping make sure that you stick to that as per your design but i want to show you on how you can use revy to do these things okay so i'll go ahead and place the bar there i'll select that one there and click on riba then i'll just cancel that one so i'll use the first one there and again i'm using 16m Okay, then I'll pick sketch this time and select that one there, the wall, and I just want to sketch the bar from, you can see that it's snapping there, I'll just pick that point. Again, make sure that you stick to your lapping length according to the code, but I'll just extend it a bit up to somewhere here, cancel, then pick that dot, and I want maybe to extend it there, the development length maybe, let me say, 300 make sure that you calculate these things right click cancel click cancel i have it there then i'll click on the green check mark you see that we have it there right click cancel i'll select on the bar and i still want to make sure that it has a maximum spacing of 200 move my cursor inside you know click again pick the the, the column there okay the wall then click on ribbon I also want to pick the first bar there, which is M-00, then select on the wall, or before you do that, go to sketch, then select on that wall there. Then I want to start it from somewhere here, as you can see from this point, and I want to go all the way up to the top. Then here, I just want to have maybe one sixty somewhere there, click, right click, enter. So we have that bar, then modify or click on the green check mark, we have finished it, click on modify to escape, select on that bar once again, as you think that it's overlapping there, you should be able to move it later on. Then click there and go to maximum spacing. And we also want this one to be 200, move your cursor inside and click, okay. So if graphically, once you start detailing, you can even see that you can start detailing from here. Of course, if I just want, want to show that this one there is an overlap here i can select on the bar and there's this two in revit 2023 displace element select on it and i can roughly move it here maybe up to somewhere here just like that so that you are able to see it properly as i mentioned make sure that the lap length you calculate and also the development length calculate according to your code all right so let's finish the other one i'll select on the you know the 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 wall then click on riba i'm just doing almost the same things the procedure is the same click on that then click on sketch riba select on that wall then from here i just want to have from this point just move down a bit just click the first point then i'll have it up to somewhere here Right click, cancel, then pick that one. I just want to end it up to somewhere there. Right click, cancel. So I have it there, then finish there. Okay, we have it there. As you can see, cancel. I can select on it. That is 16M. I want to have maximum spacing once again. And I want this one to be 200. Move my cursor inside and click. And then once again, click on the wall, riba there. Or if I want, I can even select that bow then here, right click create similar, I don't have to be going there, but make sure that you switch it with this one because it will pick that one. So I want to use that one and click on the sketch there, then pick the wall there. Then I'll, I want this one to start from this one, then end up to maybe somewhere there to leave some kicker, a bit of a kicker there, then pick that point and it's up to you. There, there if I want to have one sketch there, right click, 
cancel there, right click cancel, then click on the green check mark to finish, escape from modify, then select on the bar there and want to change this one to maximum spacing once again, then 200 as you can see there, click inside there, then I want to select on that bar and displace it a bit by clicking on displace elements because I want to the, the 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 one who is construction should be able to see that there is a lapping there click if i go there and simply select actually let me now select all the bars there then click on filter then check none then structural river apply okay then i'll go to the visibility view visibility states there and i just want under the 3d view i want to see the bars are solid then I make sure that I go to fine level of detail, click, you see that we have the bars here as you can see. Now let's finish up the bars in the other direction as you can see, we have the bars. Let me go back to the section. Then what I'm going to do is, let me simply pick that bar, right click, create similar. Okay, so you see that I'm able to, you know, to create bar like that. You see that it's aligning with that face as you can see. So Revit is very, very good. It's able to tell that it's supposed to align there. I'll simply place it somewhere there and I'll go ahead. As you can see on the other side, there is a tool that you need to use. Okay, is it aligning there with the vertical one? Yes, it is. As you can see, it's aligning with the vertical face. The other one is landed. You see that as I move on the other side, it's able to adjust like that. So even for this one, I'll simply place it somewhere there and click. We have the bars in that direction. Right click, cancel, right click, cancel. If I select on that bar, I can even move it a bit down. Select on that one, move it a bit down, just like that. Okay. Now you see, graphically, you see that this one is, you know, intersecting with that one, but we just use the displace elements. Otherwise the bar is right here. If we go to the 3D view, if I go there, okay, you see that we are not able to see it because we didn't select it when we are changing the view visibility state. So we select everything, we change, go to filter, check none, structural rebar, apply, okay. So if I go to the view visibility states and check the 3D view right there, okay. You see that it's going to appear. Just make sure that the fine level of detail is selected. Click outside. So if you check from here, the bars are not intersecting. Okay, as you can see from here, let me pick the center to place it right there. My center is right there. If I orbit like that, you see that the bars are not intersecting as you can see from here. But if I check from there, you may see that this one. So again, what you can do to avoid that, okay, this one is like that. You can even move this one inside, okay, select on that one. Then you go to displace elements and you can move this one. It's just moving graphically within here, but the intersection really in the model is not there. So this is a very, very good tool in Revit 2023. So again, I'll select on displace elements and move it a bit there. Okay, so that while I'm here, it's not intersecting. Even in the 3D view, it's not intersecting as you can see from here. So this is how you create, you know, the, the river on the cantilever retaining wall as you can see from here so it's very very easy so if you like what i'm doing on this channel make sure that you comment there that you like what i'm doing you encourage me by doing that like my videos share with others and also check the courses on revit architecture revit structure and robot structure analysis if you're interested join me in the course for more detailed lessons in revit so thank you for watching and see you in some upcoming tutorials